If we look to, of course, there is, uh, we have many, many different mycotoxins with all their separate mode of action based on the chemical structure. Uh, and some mycotoxins will target a bit more the liver than others. But in general, I would say uh, mycotoxins can interfere with the detoxification capacity of the liver. Uh, in the liver is typically an organ that will detoxify many metabolites but also toxins, drugs. Uh, so this can be affected, uh, but also of course it's inducing oxidative stress. Uh, uh, also the liver is not only gastrointestinal tract, there we have oxidative stress, but also at level of the liver, you might have some inflammation. Uh, it's depending a bit on again which animal species, uh, which mycotoxins, but inflammation, oxidative stress, and, and the capacity of detoxifying molecules, this might be also endogenes produced uh, metabolites, but it might also be toxins, it might be drugs. So chronic exposure can affect, uh, in that sense, the liver health. If you think about, for example, uh, the absorption of nutrients and development of fatty liver, also that's one of the effects, for example, in laying hands, we sometimes see that you get more storage of fat, you get a kind of fatty liver uh, in old laying hands. But of course, that's very important then to differentiate with symptoms like the fatty liver syndrome. But then you see more fat all over the body, while it's, when it's more mycotoxin uh, regula regulated, then I would say it's only more the liver being involved and you don't have a lot of fat in the shalomic cavity, in the abdominal cavity. Eh? So I would say, eh, inflammation and then of course also the storage of like the fat deposition and so it might be altered and of course that will also result in negative effects on performance.